I would say after that is low progesterone or estrogen dominance can be a big thing. Now, high levels of estrogen can be there because of birth control pills or because of soy or frankenfoods. It can be there because of microplastics or pesticides. These can all increase estrogen. But we can also have estrogen dominance because progesterone starts to drop. Now, progesterone can drop because of many reasons, but the big one is stress and inflammation. Progesterone can pinch hit downstream for cortisol. So the more stress, the more inflamed we get, we can lower that progesterone. And chronic stress can impact our HPA, HPG axis, hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. Uh, and that means basically the feedback loop that tells the brain to the ovaries to make certain hormones, that can get disrupted. So big thing out of the gate, that's LH is the big hormone there. FSH talks to the ovaries and that makes more estradiol. But chronic stress can impact that. And so we may do things that, that work on that LH signaling up in the brain, certain herbs. We may actually give bioidentical progesterone. We may work on the underlying stress and inflammation of why that's happening. Because if we just give progesterone, it could be almost like throwing gasoline in the fire if you're doing all these habits or things over here that are driving that inflammation. So you want to fix it on one side to fix on one side. And then the other side that we work on increasing the progesterone to get everything else dialed in. All right, talked about the hormones, talked about some of the toxins, talked about um, the adrenals play a big role too because chronic stress, chronic inflammation lowers DHEA. 